your treasure guide I've got nothing to lose After years with the blues Oh, you know, you know mention a book that I got recently that's called what to expect when expecting and it has helped me a lot I know in my first trimester I did not want to do anything I didn't have any structure or routine um, I was very fatigued and lethargic and during this time you know you will experience a lot of emotional ups and downs uh, which may include mood swings, irritability, irrationality, crying for no apparent reason. But you also, entering the second trimester, you do feel more joy and excitement. Um, apprehension, of course, and doubt. Just, you know, about what to expect. Shades of blue, holds feather wings, and hops made out of gold. is to write down for breakfast, lunch, and dinner five ideas and stick them on your fridge. That way when you walk into the kitchen, you're like, oh, there's nothing to eat. But then you look at the list and you're like, okay, I can make, you know, oatmeal or some soup. And I think that really helped me because I would feel so anxious about what to eat and then I wouldn't eat, but then I needed to eat because I was nauseous. what I'm going to put in my smoothie, healthy fats, proteins, and some fruits for carbs and some veggies. So I did a lot of research and <clears throat> as far as I know, this protein powder is good for pregnancy and this is what I was taking before I was pregnant and um, I like it because it has no stevia and stevia makes me feel weird. To mix in my um, Chia seeds, hemp seeds, cacao nibs, uh, goji berries, and possibly I have other things. I have some dates back there. Um, it changes every day, but I'm trying to have a smoothie a day. And let's go ahead and get started.
That's the first thing I did when I drank this. <laughs> do you guys ever do that? Like when you drink something or eat something that's really good, you like kind of do a little victory dance? No? Mm -hmm. 